Attributes and transformations of cube root functions. The cube root function, or the cube root parent function, is f of x equals the cube root of x. We can graph this by first creating a table of values. Choosing some x values, I'll choose some perfect cubes. Negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8. And f of x can be computed by taking the cube root of each of these. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. The cube root of 0 equals 0. The cube root of 1 equals 1. The cube root of 8 equals 2. Let's plot these points on a coordinate plane. Negative 8 comma negative 2. Negative 1 comma negative 1. 0 comma 0. 1 comma 1. 8 comma 2. And we can sketch in our cube root function. Some attributes of this function are that the domain is all real numbers, or x values range from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is also all real numbers, or y can range from negative infinity to positive infinity. The x-intercept is the origin, 0, 0, and the y-intercept is also the origin, 0, 0. Let's look at some transformations. For example, and we'll always compare back to our parent function, f of x equals the cube root of x. We'll look at f of x equals 4 times the cube root of x, f of x equals 0 0.5 times the cube root of x, and f of x equals negative cube root of x. Looking at all four of these functions on one coordinate plane, we see these four graphs. Now the parent function, f of x equals the cube root of x, is right here, the black graph. f of x equals 4 times the cube root of x is a vertical stretch times 4 and is this blue graph. f of x equals 0.5 cube root of x is a vertical compression and is this red graph. I'm having a hard time highlighting this one. There it goes. And f of x equals negative cube root of x is a reflection over the x-axis. And that is this green graph. Highlighted right here. In general, y equals a times f of x, if the absolute value of a is greater than 1, then it is a vertical stretch. If the absolute value of a is less than 1, it is a vertical compression. And if a is less than 0, if it's negative, then there is a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Always comparing back to the parent function, f of x equals the cube root of x. We'll also look at f of x equals the cube root of x plus 3, and f of x equals the cube root of x minus 2. Here are these three graphs. The parent function is this black function again, highlighted here. f of x equals the cube root of x plus 3, is a translation up 3, and that's shown here by this blue function highlighted here. And f of x equals the cube root of x minus 2 
is a translation down two units, and it is this red function highlighted here. In general, if we have a transformation of the form y equals f of x plus k, if k is greater than zero, then we have a translation up k units. And if k is less than zero, we have a translation down absolute value of k units. Let's look at a final set of examples. Again, comparing back to the parent function, f of x equals the cube root of x. We'll look at f of x equals the cube root of x minus 2 and f of x equals the cube root of x plus 4. Here are these three graphs on a coordinate plane. Now the parent function is this black graph. Let's see if I can highlight it right here. f of x equals the cube root of x minus 2 is, a transla is translated right to units and it is this blue graph right here and f of x equals the cube root of x plus 4 is translated left 4 units and is this red graph highlighted here. In general, a transformation of the form y equals f of x minus h, if h is greater than 0, then we have a then our graph is translated right h units. And if h is less than 0, then our graph is translated left the absolute value of h units. Finally, attributes of transformed cube root functions. Very similarly to the parent function, the domain is going to be all real numbers or ranging from negative infinity to positive infinity for all transformed cube root functions. The range will also be all real numbers, or going from negative infinity to positive infinity. For all transformed cube root functions, there will be exactly one x-intercept, and there will be exactly one y-intercept. Finally, all cube root functions have graphs that have rotational symmetry around a point.